everyone, it's Maddie, and today I just decided that since I really like editing photos, I would do like some sort of editing tutorial kind of series where I would show you how I edit different AG photos to make them cool and stuff, and what apps I use and everything. So yeah, let's get right into the first tutorial. So first, I'm going to be showing you how to make this kind of edit, and it looks really complicated, but really it isn't. It's super simple. So let's get right into that. So the apps I use to edit photos are Afterlight, Superimpose, Fonto, and PixArt. The other two are for video edits. And um, Afterlight and Superimpose are 99 cents, and um, Fonto and PixArt are free. So before you make this edit, you're going to need a picture of a doll's eye or eyes. It just has to be like close up of the eye. Then you're just going to go into your Google or Safari or whatever, search up the earth, and just screenshot whatever picture you think you would like. Then you're just going to go into Superimpose, the inside of the app will look like this, and you're going to select your doll photo as the background, and then the photo of the earth as the foreground, and you're going to want to like crop that out. So now you're going to take the magic wand tool, and you're just going to tap any black area to get rid of it. And so it would look something like this, and if you have any excess black area, as you can see like up by her eyebrow there's a little dot, just take the brush and get rid of that. Now you're going to choose the transform option and you are going to see this little lever on the side, like on the right. You're going to lower the opacity until you can see like both the foreground and the background. And then you're just going to take it with your fingers and shrink it down so that it's more the size of her eye and we are going to adjust that in a second. So now you're just going to go to home and zoom in a lot. Um, then you're just going to adjust it so it fits her eye and everything and it's to your liking. Now you're just going to go into the paintbrush tool bring up the smoothness a little and make sure you put it on soft brush. So you're just going to go around the edges and make it look smoother and also you're going to go in the middle and kind of like erase the circle for her pupils. And now you're just going to save this picture to your camera roll. Now you're just going to open it up into Afterlight and it'll look like this. And then you just get to have fun, play around with filters, light leaks, borders, things like that. And I just did this filter right here, I thought it looked nice. And I put like one of the dust um, effects on there. So you can do whatever. It's your photo, so. And I just put the white border around the edges so it'd be like the entire photo can get into Instagram and everything, but you don't have to do that. Now you can just go put it onto Instagram or whatever social media you have. And that is it. So here's how mine ended up. Obviously yours is going to look a little bit different because I mean, it's your photo, like you're not completely doing the same thing I am and everything, but it's just the idea and I showed you how to make it look somewhat like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want more, let me know and I will do more because these are really fun for me to make. So yeah, bye!